This is going to be a product review of the 511 Tactical Moab 6 Utility Bag. Moab, o M O A B, stands for Mobile Operation Attachment Bag. So the bag itself is designed to be attached via some other straps from 511 Tactical onto larger Rush, uh, their Rush uh, series of packs. But this bag, uh, by itself, with one attachment I'll talk about, is probably the best everyday carry uh, bag that, that you could have. Uh, and I'll go through some of this so you can see why. The number of pockets, the way the strapping system is on the Molly uh, attachments, uh, both on the front and the sides, make this a very useful strap system that uh, is cross shoulder uh, across the front which allows the bag itself to hang in the back uh, down around the waist. It's adjustable, it has adjustable straps here so that the shoulder pad uh, will run and rest easily on the on you. Uh, there is a, a pouch uh, on, the, uh, on the strap so as it hangs uh, on the front, you can see how that would look. Uh, I've rendered this whole bag, or most of it, a first aid uh, kit, as well as a range bag and an office. But inside this pouch, it, you'll find uh, my earplugs for the range, uh, gloves, and uh, breathing masks for that immediate first aid step. Also, and here's a multi-tool. So everything I would probably need for an immediate first aid action is in this pouch on the top. Now you can put other things in here. This is how I've chosen to configure this top pouch. On the back that uh, rubs up against you in your back is a, a zip pouch. It's behind the strap uh, and you could put almost anything in here. It's very large and useful. I just happen to have in here, I threw a knife sharpener in there because I like to keep one of those with me. I used to have other things in here. You can uh, change what you carry, but uh, this is one of the, uh, the rear pouches and has two, two zippers so you can get to it from your side. Forward of the strap, is another pouch. One single zipper. Uh, it's lined so it can carry your sunglasses or things that might get scratched. Uh, I don't carry my sunglasses in there but I do have an extra magazine for my pistol and a couple of uh, multi-tool sporks. This is a different product from CRKT that I'll review at another time. But that's what I tend to carry. The in carrying here. strap itself is extremely sturdy. Uh, this is what I do most of the yanking with, either this or the main strap itself as I'm moving in and out of the car, wherever. This is not going to rip off in my lifetime. On either side, you have Molly attachments. I happen to put some. Uh, paracord bracelets on here just looking together because that's what I felt like doing. Uh, at one point I did have a uh, Molly pouch over here for carrying a phone uh, and then on the other side you have the same Molly configuration where you could put another uh, pouch from 511 Tactical or you can put magazine pouches there. You can um, just leave it you're buying this hook, whatever, whatever Molly thing floats your boat, you could put on this. The main pouch, the main pocket, if you want to call it a pocket, is fairly cavernous. Uh, this is where my range, my basic range stuff goes the tape, uh, safety glasses ears. Also carry battery chargers for self-charging double A's, triple A's, and uh, chargeable one, two, threes. 
I like to keep all that stuff handy. Also inside, uh, there is another deeper pouch where I carry some other material. Um, up here, I tend to carry some extra cords for USB hookup, for camera, GPS, whatever. Uh, and then down in here is another internal pouch. I don't have anything in this right now. Uh, but this is fairly large and you can carry a lot of stuff in this main, uh, main pouch. One of the things I like to stress is the, um, the pull cords and pull ties for this bag. Uh, they are very sturdy. I like these clips that they put on because the knots aren't going to come loose like we see on other brands of so-called tactical gear. These things don't come with it. These are uh, LEDs, a uh, little switch so that I can tell where my first aid uh, materials are by looking at a red one or where a utility pouch is by looking at a white LED without turning the lights on at night if I didn't want to do that. This is a fairly covert bag and that's one of the reasons why I'm asking right here is a uh, covert pouch for a small pistol. Uh, small meaning, you know, the typical three inch. Um, and this also has the Velcro so you can use the 511 tactical holster uh, rig that goes that you can put in here. But if you're only going to carry a pistol in here, um, I wouldn't necessarily put, put that because it makes the bag fairly thick this way. But uh, your firearm secures very nicely. Nobody knows what's in there except you. And it opens fairly easy for you to get the firearm out if you have one. In the next pocket or, or compartment, I call this the office. And in here are the normal things, uh, regular ink pens, some zip ties for securing my luggage as I go through the uh, airport, uh, a um, tactical pen, this is another product from CRKT, which I happen to like, um, checkbook, stamps, you know, office stuff. Um, even though I hate paper, I always carry a little notebook. Uh, unfortunately, 511 Tactical doesn't make these, but this fits very well inside. So I always have something to write with out in the field, in a customer location, or wherever, without having to carry around a big notebook. Um, I carry lots of batteries. These are all uh, chargeable, rechargeable batteries, uh, and I have recharging devices inside. So whether it's for my um, GPS or any other devices that I carry I always this is my administrative compartment. Now normally that would be it for the Moab 6 but uh, as I said earlier I wanted uh, to have more of a first aid both uh, boo-boo kit as well as uh, basic first aid uh, in addition to my CPR uh, kit up here. So 511 Tactical has a um, uh, six inch pouch that uses these slick strips to attach to the front molly uh, on the on the bag and now I have an extension which works exceptionally well and in here I have my additional first aid uh, material including tourniquet the normal things that you would need uh, immediately so the Moab 6 basic bag with a 511 tactical uh, six inch pouch uh, completes the configuration of this kit. Uh, on the side, uh, I also have a, um, I have attached my CRKT uh, neck knife because you can attach it to yourself or to another bag if you wish. <clears throat> I'll talk about CRKT products on another video. The bottom line is, is that <clears throat> for everyday carry, just going to and from basic range stuff, um, accessories for you, 
accessories for first aid or anything else that you can get creative with, uh, this bag has everything you need. And it's small enough to carry anywhere and it's large enough to carry most of the things that you would need uh, in a day-to-day -day situation. So for those of you, I've carried this bag for almost two years now. <clears throat> and I would highly recommend this kit and other 511 attachment pouches that could go with this. It's limited only to your creativity. Uh, this has been very effective and I think that you will get quite a bit of use uh, from it. 511 Tactical, Moab 6.